right, we know why we're here today. We are here to be blessed once again by Little Mix. They just released Glory Days, the Platinum Edition, and honestly, I told you guys I'd be real with you 110%, but I'm not someone that usually likes when they re-release albums with like three new songs or whatever. I'm just like, bitch, I already spent so much money on y'all and you gotta do this to me. Why? That's Little Mix, so like, money, what is that? We don't know her. I'm gonna kinda pick and choose like which ones I react to. Obviously the new ones, cause I haven't heard any of it yet. I know that they released little snippets, and you guys kept tagging me in it, and I was like, what is you doing? I gotta wait to react to it. Stop trying to tempt me, it's not okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty pumped, so let's get into it. Okay, first we're gonna listen to Touch featuring Kid Ink. Um, if I remember correctly, Touch is perfection on its own. I don't know how I am with my features. I'm scared. I feel like I'm gonna fight them. What's new? Hey! Buttons and now you're playing. The way she sings that in the acoustic, don't tell me it didn't fuck you up. Girl, it fucked me up. Oh my god, Jay's part's coming up in the music video. I got no pants on, but it's fine. So what you take it? What are you like doing that shit? I'm like, what? Fingers on my buttons and I am playing. Woo! Okay, Kitty, I feel like you're coming. Are you coming? Oh, he's having a full feature. Okay. Like, I, do you see what I mean, you guys? Like, was that really necessary? It's a fine feature. But can the girls carry themselves? Yes. Again, I prefer the original. My opinion, you don't gotta agree with me, but you should. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, we've heard Power with Stormzy in the music video. We heard No More Sad Songs with Machine Gun Kelly in the music video. We're gonna get into the songs that we haven't heard yet, finally, I know. First one is If I Get My Way. And now listen, if I got my way, Little Mix would be way more appreciated than they are right now. They'd be big in America. They'd be touring. My ass would be in the front row shaking. I'd have a poster sign that says choke me with your thighs like that is what I would want if I could get what I wanted so little mix I'm looking at you <laughs> your move okay if I get my way here we go what kind of techno ass oh, fuck okay 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 Okay, the melody in this one? Oh, shit, my battery's dying. Hold up, guys. Okay, we're probably not in the same frame as we were like two seconds ago, but it's fine. And it's funny, I didn't even make a joke this time of who will last longer, my battery or me. It's okay, we know the answer. What I'm trying to say is the melody in this, I am 100% here for it. It has a bit more of like that R&B kind of soulful vibe that I desperately want them to incorporate more into their music. I will cry a thousand rivers for it. What the fuck? I'm not fine! Okay, that's fine. This is fine. Okay, that harmony needs to be more present. How dare you put it in the back? Ooh, I love that. Ooh. Are we dropping? Oh, Lord. Oh. to the other songs because I feel like once I hear the other ones it's gonna not be my favorite but it is a cute song like I said I really like the melody of it I like that kind of a direction if they do go that way for the next album I'm down 
Let's see how the other songs will sound, um, if it's going to be any indication of what is to come. Which, by the way, real real quick, let's drop some tea up in here. If Little Mix wanted to take like a year or so off, I'd be down. These girls work so hard. Um, I saw a video on my timeline the other day of, I think it was Perry who was looking at the girls and was like, my voice is fucked up. And Jade like lost her voice the other- These girls, I'm, I'm telling you, they need some rest and I'm okay with it. I will wait if that means they can be happy and they can be healthy. Bitch, uh, don't even get me started. I, I hate their label. I really do. Next song is, Is Your Love Enough? Is your love you're, you're really gonna start off being in harmony. Oh, I'm living for that drum. Ooh. That was rude. You know what's funny? This sounds like their collaboration with, what's their name, Cinco, right? It sounds like they pulled some sounds from that and are using it in their music. Which I think honestly right now is kind of the trend and it's kind of the thing to do. So it's cool that they took that and they're going to put it on this album and they're releasing it now. Because I think if they made it sound more like the album, I would have been more mad than I already was. Because I'd be like, why didn't you do this in the first place? What the hell? But since it's a little bit different, it's a little more current on what's going on now, I'm here for it. Okay, Little Mix, take my coins. It's not like you haven't already. I love that shh. I want them to have a key change in the last chorus. So bad. Come on, Perry. That pattern's so familiar. Y'all better do a key change. Okay. I would like the key change, but I'll take the ad lib. Okay, Mary! So there's that one. These songs are so different than what I was expecting. Okay, let's move on to Dear Lover before I get my final thoughts real quick. This sounds like it's gonna be some kind of ballad. Just kidding. I'm Boo Boo the Fool. I literally thought that's fine. I've seen some You crave attention and I need affection. So let's walk the silver I like this one right here. These sounds! Ah! Ah! Take a break right here. Ah, uh, these are oh my god. The sounds. The sounds, the production. It's funny because okay, so with this one, it totally goes with the other two songs that are being released. Of like instrumentation and having that feel that the other two have. But I feel like this one's a lot more 
little mix or more suited for this album or glory days as an album <laughs> if you're catching my drift you know what i meant but i really like it i really like this one so far i this one's definitely my favorite i'm gonna get some notes r.i.p r.i.p me oh they're bringing it in to be deceased, literally R.I.P. Oh, oh. oh my god, I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown, thank god it's over. If there was any more, well I mean there's some like, little things coming up, but if there was any more like, new new songs, we'd probably have to call 911. And that's not even being dramatic, I know it sounds dramatic, bitch, trust me, I know it sounds dramatic. But if you watched my reaction to Glory Days, you know that this is not a game. Okay, next one. I don't know what this is. Shout out to my ex, Steve Smart Epic edi Edit. I just see the word epic and I'm triggered. <laughs> to be completely honest, I see, I see epic and I just, mm, I want to fight. Okay, let's see what this is. Or have I heard this beat before? I know I've heard this beat before. Where have I heard it? That beat's from another song, no? Okay, listening to it, honestly, this kind of sounds... <laughs> This is gonna be so bad. This sounds like when I am looking for a remix to put into my video and I want it to be Little Mix. And I'm looking for a remix on YouTube because I don't want copyright to get my ass. And I look for like up and coming SoundCloud artists or producers or whatever and they make a remix and it's not copyright and I ask them if I can use it and they say yeah, this is like what it sounds like to me. Personally, no, I don't know, maybe. I'm not feeling it. It kind of takes away, in my opinion, again, in my opinion, you don't have to agree, it takes away that like fun, essential feeling that Shout Out To My Ex has. When I listen to Shout Out To My Ex, I literally feel so empowered and I feel like I'm on top of the world and like fuck any guy that's done me dirty ever in my entire life. I don't know, this just is not giving me that feeling. Yeah, okay, I'm not even gonna finish it, honestly. <laughs> I hate to be that person, but or let's see, let's skip to the end and see. Okay, that was a good part. Okay, I was here for that one part. And now we can skip, okay. Next one is shout out to my ex, Acoustic. Goodbye. You made my heart break and then made me wild. See, this even has that feeling that the other one didn't. I'm waiting for the note. I'm honestly waiting for the note at this point. But the harmony is in the score. Buckle up. Sorry, I did not buckle up correctly. I did not keep my arms seated at all times. Not even seated in the, the what? Perry actually hates me. Perry actually wants me dead. It's confirmed. What? Like that was just her solo. Could you imagine if they all came in? Okay, next one. No more sad songs. It's a piano. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love this song so much. Goodness gracious, that is so beautiful! Oh my god, I'm literally dizzy. 
so like peaceful and angelic. I have a very good feeling in my tummy right now because I just love it. But you know what? That good feeling is going to be gone in 0.2 seconds because little mix, we need to talk. They have these videos of like their stops on the tour and a lot of them are when they're with Ariana Grande, right? They came here to Phoenix, Arizona and I had a glorious time. I will include the vlog that that's in at the end. You can literally hear me going, yes, queens, yeah. <laughs> like, crying. I literally cried in the bathroom after their set because I had finally seen them after so many years and I just, it was a good day. It was a good ass day. So when I saw that there was going to be a video clip of Phoenix, Arizona, I was like, yes, bitch. Thank you. Recognition. But then I see the timestamp. Guess how long it is. 16 seconds. The disrespect. I swear to God. 16 seconds is enough time for them to say, hey, we're Little Mix. That one girl, Ashley, that was in the crowd, yeah, fuck her, thank you for your coins, we're gonna go sing, descend you off into heaven, and peace out. I feel so disrespected. Let's see what these 16 seconds are about. I mean, I get it, Arizona, it sucks. I know. But 16 seconds. Yep, that looks like Arizona. <laughs> Dry and disgusting. Hey. Okay. That was literally it. That was literally it. It was Jay dancing and and Jesse just saying we're women now. I have never felt so disrespected in my entire life. So then the next one, right, is a six minute long thing, which is black magic, cool, whatever. Okay, Oklahoma got 35 seconds. That makes me feel a little bit better. Tennessee got three minutes. Fuck you, Tennessee. Okay, and then London, I get that. Okay, whatever. Denver, Colorado, three minutes. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm bitter. Okay. I guess this video is done. <laughs> what a note to end it on. Y'all think I'm kidding. I'm so bitter because that just proves to me because I've always had this fear. I'm like, when they finally eventually get to come and tour America, they're probably not going to come to my stop. And those 16 seconds just proved me. They hate me. They hate Arizona. I mean, same, but bitch. Like, you gotta come see me, okay? I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I'm sorry that it's up kind of late. You know, Thanksgiving was yesterday. I went Black Friday shopping. Never again. Just pretend like this is the part where I actually do my outro because I'm not lazy. See you next time. Go watch the videos that I include at the end. Okay. Bye. <laughs>